Hey guys, I'm Jake. Welcome to Nature Beings. Yes, it is true. Life is beautiful and we need to appreciate it more. And for that, of course, we need to live longer. So in this video, I'm going to provide you those 10 tips that can increase your lifespan. And when I say lifespan, it does not only mean the length of your life, how long you live, but it also means the quality of your life. So basically, longevity and quality both. I mean, when you're 80 years old, you still want to be walking and running around on your own without any support and not living on uh, painkillers or any blood pressure medication, right? Because that's what the real lifespan means. Beautiful, healthy life. And make sure to watch this video till the end because the tip number 7 and tip number 10 are actually the golden secret of longevity and anti-aging. And a quick and humble request. If you are new to my channel, kindly press the subscribe button. Please help me grow my channel as I regularly post healthy videos. Alright guys, so talking about lifespan, in today's time, the kind of uh, environment that we live in, the amount of pollution in our air, in our water and also in our food with so many preservatives and adulteration, everything is somewhere spoiling the quality of our life and affecting our lifespan. But fortunately for us, there are so many researchers who are putting in new research for improving the quality of our life. And based on those research and also my personal studies, I've got these 10 tips for you, which I'm going to start right away to increase your lifespan. Tip number one, increase your vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is such an essential vitamin. It is involved in so many biological processes in our body. I mean, uh, when it comes to vitamin D, usually people only think about it or associate it with the strong bones. When people start getting pain in their joint, then they start taking vitamin D. Personally, I've been taking vitamin D3 supplements since last 10 years. I mean, uh, in today's uh, time, especially where I live in Canada, uh, the cold weather, getting uh, vitamin D3 from the sun is almost impossible and even if you live in the hot uh, temperature life is so busy you uh, to get the amount of vitamin d from the sun you need to expose your entire skin not only your hand or just go and sit in the sun your at least your entire back or your chest it needs to be properly exposed to the sun and then maybe in 15 to 20 minutes you will get your dosage of vitamin d3 but you are also exposing yourself to harmful UV rays. So it's a very technical and complicated process to get vitamin D3 through natural sources. And also the food sources are very limited and the foods which are rich in vitamin D3 like the uh, animal organs and all like liver and stuff like that. People don't usually consume those kinds of food and even if you consume, you'll have to eat them in a large quantity. That's not also humanly possible. So in that case, my humble suggestion is that uh, start using a good D3 supplement. In fact, I'll provide the link in the description. You guys can check it and uh, just increase your vitamin D3 levels and increase your lifespan. Tip number two, eat more nuts. So what I mean by nuts is almonds and walnuts. Simply by adding a handful of nuts two or three times a day, uh, it has been shown to reduce the incidence of cardiovascular disease and uh, reduction in blood pressure and even reduce the risk of cancer to a certain extent. I mean, nuts are amazing. They are like a powerhouse of nutrition, you know. They are rich, especially almonds and walnuts. That's, those are the only nuts that I eat, almonds and walnuts and even uh, pecan. So uh, they are rich in uh, omega-3 fatty acids. They are rich in uh, certain vitamins, especially B vitamins, and they also contain protein. They help to increase your metabolism, thereby helping you stay in proper shape by reducing weight, and they're also great anti-inflammatory. In fact, you can reduce your risk of premature death by up to 40% just by consuming a handful of nuts almonds and walnuts every day. In fact, I'm going to read two lines from a study which was conducted in this regard. A progressive study examining 350,000 people found that those who consumed nuts regularly were up to 25% less likely to die during the window of that study. So I believe these are more than enough reason to start eating uh, almonds and walnuts. And I would say that when you eat almonds, uh, kindly soak them in water at night and when you eat them in the morning make sure to peel it off don't eat the peel because that peel of almond might cause inflammation in your gut 
As far as the quantity is concerned, I would say around uh, 7 to 8 almonds and uh, 5 to 6 walnuts every day are good enough. Tip number 3. Reduce your calorie intake. Eat less. There have been numerous animal studies that have shown 10 to 50 percent of reduction in calories can result in increase in lifespan by up to 50 percent. Basically, whenever we consume food, it needs to be digested and uh, that whole uh, metabolic process of digestion results in a byproduct called free radicals and free radical causes oxidative stress on our body, on our cells. Basically, free radicals are reactive molecules. They steal energy from our healthy cells and make them weak and old. So our target should always be to have as less free radicals in our body and by reducing calories we definitely reduce the number of those free radicals as well. All in all it has been proved that when we eat less food our body gets much needed rest uh, from the metabolic process and it gets more time to heal itself. I think on a daily basis if you can't do it right away the best uh, approach is that at least two days in a week you can reduce your calorie intake by 30% only on those two days. After that, of course, you can make it a habit and on a daily basis consume 20% lesser calories. Tip number four, exercise. Now, when I say exercise, it does not mean going to the gym, lifting heavy weights or uh, just becoming a bodybuilder. No, even for healthy people like us, exercise is not only about staying in shape, but it increases our lifespan significantly. Basically, exercise puts stress on our body and because of that stress, our body goes into the survival mode. It activates the survival circuit, which in turn increases the NAD level. Just wait for tip number seven and we'll talk about the NAD level more in detail. So it increases the NAD level. Increase in NAD level turns up our energy production, which forces our muscles to grow extra oxygen carrying capillaries. Exercise forces our body to develop and build new blood vessels. It improves our heart and lung health and also extending the telomerase, the most important part of our DNA chromosome. The more extended telomerase we have, the healthier our DNA will be and that's the impact of exercise at the core of our existence, our DNA. And guys, studies have shown time and again that just 15 minutes of exercise every day has the potential to increase our lifespan by three years. Now, there is a gold standard of 150 minutes uh, of exercise per week, which reduces your chances of death by 28%. And exercise can be anything. Just go for a walk in the park or jogging or cycling or swimming or... Uh, lifting lightweight dumbbells or push-ups, anything, whatever your exercise is, just give those 15 minutes every day. Tip number five, turmeric. In my home country, India, turmeric has been a staple in every kitchen. And in fact, when I was a kid, my mother used to even put turmeric paste on my wounds whenever I used to get injured and it used to heal faster. Turmeric is anti-inflammatory. It is antimicrobial, antibacterial. It is an incredible herb and now it can even increase your lifespan. The main pathway by which turmeric or the active ingredient curcumin in turmeric helps in increasing our lifespan is by reducing inflammation in our body and thereby uh, improving our cardiovascular health. I never use the powder form available in the market. I always get the raw turmeric uh, because the powder form is often contaminated with lead. So I prefer raw turmeric. I crush it and use it and I always make some pepper with it because studies have shown that uh, pepper actually helps uh, 2000 times more in the absorption of turmeric because due to certain enzymes in our system, Turmeric does not stay in our body for a long time and for us to benefit from it, it needs to stay inside, right? And that's what black pepper does it. Uh, so in fact, I'll even provide the link in the description for the uh, curcumin supplement that I use, the turmeric supplement, because that supplement has black pepper also in it. So that's what I do, 500 mg of uh, curcumin on a daily basis and uh, you're good to go, you're golden. Tip number six, plant-based diet. My humble suggestion to increase your lifespan is try eating more plant-based diet. Uh, include uh, vegetables like kale, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, uh, lettuce, 
spinach, carrots, beetroots, these are the golden diamonds of increasing our lifespan. It has been shown in multiple studies that uh, people who eat plant-based diet have 50% reduced chances of getting any kind of heart disease, kidney disease, type 2 diabetes, cancer and many more chronic illnesses. All these vegetables and fruits are rich in fibers and also phytonutrients which helps us to fight oxidative stress. And all these vegetables and fruits provide us so many vitamins and minerals. Only thing that I would suggest here is to uh, supplement with a zinc supplement because vegetarian sources are definitely not rich in zinc. I'll provide the link in the description for a good zinc supplement. A daily dosage uh, between 20 to 30 mg of zinc is good. That being said about the plant-based diet, uh, I'm not going to debate much on the consumption of uh, animal proteins, specifically red meat. So many studies have already shown animal-based diets are associated with the cardiovascular disease, cancer, especially processed red meats like hot dogs, sausages, ham, bacon. They are heavily carcinogenic. There are hundreds of studies that have related these foods with the colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer. Basically, red meat contains carnitine, which our gut then converts to trimethylamine and oxide, a chemical that is suspected of causing heart disease. So I rest my case now in favor of plant-based diet and it will definitely increase your lifespan. All right, now the much awaited tip number seven. And guys, this is, I would say a bonus tip. And I learned about it from a book, which I read called uh, Lifespan written by David A. Sinclair. He is a renowned researcher from Australia and he is doing incredible work in the field of anti-aging and increasing our lifespan. What I learned in that book is the most important part of our body which is associated with either aging or keeping us young and healthy even at the age of 90 and that is our NAD level. So what is NAD? Basically I'll have to read it. It's a long name. NAD, NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. It's a molecule formed from vitamin B3 and ATP that acts as a carrier molecule for electrons and hydrogen. In fact, uh, for the book also, uh, the uh, lifespan, I'll provide the link in the description. You can download it and read that book. It will illuminate your mind. You will be shocked to learn so many things uh, how uh, we can actually live a healthy life even at the age of 100 just by making these necessary changes which we are talking about in this video. So talking about NAD levels. Now NAD levels are directly responsible for maintaining the health of our DNA and uh, the reason is that uh, with the passage of time and the kind of environment that we live, the NAD levels start decreasing and it starts affecting every cell in our body and our heart function, our brain function, our kidneys, our lungs, everything start deteriorating due to the uh, decline in NAD levels. Now, of course, one way of increasing our NAD levels is uh, by regular exercise, which we talked about in the beginning. But there is a direct way to increase those NAD levels and that is uh, by this uh, formulation called NAD plus supplement. Uh, the, I've been using it for six months now and I can definitely feel the surge of energy in my body uh, ever since I started using it. Uh, the link is in the description because it's important to use the right supplement. And in addition to NAD plus, either you can take NAD plus or you can take resveratrol as well. Even resveratrol that is uh, an antioxidant which is present in red wine. So, but again, you can't drink a lot of red wine every day. You can drink only one or two glasses, right? Because otherwise it will have other side effects. So resveratrol, it comes in a concentrated form in a supplement. Is Resveratrol is also a precursor to NAD+. Plus. When we take resveratrol, it also increases NAD plus levels in our body. But like I said, by taking NAD plus, NAD boosters, we can directly increase those NAD levels. So if you're serious about uh, anti-aging, staying young, strong, energetic, even at the ripe old age of 90s and 100s, guys, NAD plus is the golden secret. Tip number eight, very simple, coffee and green tea. Coffee is full of polyphenols, flavanols, antioxidant. Basically, it helps to neutralize those hungry free radicals which are attacking our uh, cells on a daily basis. And when I say coffee, I only talk about organic coffee 
and I only prefer to get the coffee beans, get them home, grind them, make my fresh coffee and then drink it without adding any milk or any sugar. That is the prerequisite to benefit from coffee. Don't get the instant coffee powder or the filter coffee powder available in the market because they are often contaminated during the transportation process and the whole uh, supply chain process. That's why get your beans, crush them and drink your coffee. The link is in the description for organic coffee as well. Same thing applies to green tea. Green tea is again full of uh, good antioxidant like EGCG. Epigallo Catechin Gallate 3 which helps in reducing inflammation and they are a rich antioxidant which again neutralizes free radicals in our body. The bottom line is free radical needs to die. That's the only way we our cells can stay young and healthy. So I would say if you're a tea guy then uh, three or four cups of green tea in a day and when it comes to coffee staying in moderation is better and like I drink around uh, three cups of uh, organic coffee every day. Tip number 9 is very basic and simple, just wait for the tip number 10, you haven't heard about it. So tip number 9 is basically manage your stress levels. Guys, stress can spoil everything in our body. I mean, uh, stress can increase the level of cortisol, then cortisol uh, increment can result in adrenal stress. And when our adrenal uh, glands go haywire, it results in imbalance of hormones, both in men and women, which results in further aging. And managing stress is quite easy. Uh, you can do yoga, meditation. For me, I don't do too much of yoga or meditation, but I just go for a walk, simple walk in the woods, uh, in the middle of green trees, I look at those trees, get that fresh oxygen and it releases my stress. So even a basic simple exercise of walking in the middle of green trees is good enough to de-stress yourself every day. All right, last but not the least, the tip that you haven't heard about and that is flossing your teeth every day. You might say that flossing is good for our teeth and you are right, it is good for our teeth but you need to understand why do we floss or why do we brush at night before we sleep? Why is it so important? It's not only about the uh, health, health of our teeth or our gums but also the health of our lifespan and the reason for that is our mouth is basically a cesspool of bacteria the food that we eat everything there are bacteria inside our mouth and through our mouth and those blood capillaries they easily enter our bloodstream start damaging our internal organs they create inflammation and all kind of stress so before you go to bed, don't ever sleep without flossing and brushing your teeth and leaving those ugly bacteria inside. Let them out before you go to bed. And trust me guys, this is so simple, but it is so important. All right, so those are my 10 golden tips to increase your lifespan, healthy lifespan. That's what I do every day. If you guys have any other tips for uh, everyone to learn more, kindly put them in the comment section. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. I would definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you next time. Bye.